Hello, this is Claude Amir again with another video about white balance for CCTV. So if you want to learn more about white balance, how to control better your colors, just keep watching. Okay, let's talk about colors. Let's talk about white balance. White balance can control your colors because you must to have the correct colors in your videos, all right? So let's go directly here to this presentation and understand a little bit more about white balance. So here I have a picture, a good one with a lot of colors on it. And then we can see here something that's um, green, something that's blue, something that's red. And then when you have a menu of your camera or you have um, some documentation, sometimes you can find information about white balance and, and you can also find information about colors and you see something like RGB, right? So R is for red, G is for green, and B is for blue. That's why you have RGB. It's red, green, and blue. And if, if you have the correct amount of red, green, and blue in your image, you have the correct color, okay? You have to balance this. So you have the white balance correctly. You have the colors correctly represented in your videos, all right? So let's understand how it works. Uh, here I have an image, and I'm talking here about color adjustment according to the light. What I mean by that is that you have some kind, some type of light here. The light is passing through the person here or passing through the, the object that you have and hitting the camera. And the, the image here in, in the camera, you have the colors according to this light. So let's say you adjust your white balance and you have this type of color, okay? Then you don't change the configuration in your camera. But you go there and you change this light for another type of light. So the colors that the camera is capturing here will not be correct, okay? Because you change it, the type of the light and you did not change the configuration on your camera. Unless your camera is working with automatic white balance, the camera tries to adjust itself. When you change the light here, the camera tries to adjust and represent the colors correctly okay let's see something else here here is an example of different colors we can see we have the same model here she's with different skin colors okay because here i have the correct white balance so here is the real image here the image is too hot what i mean by that is too yellowish you know it's too yellow here is a kind of yellowish image, okay? And here is too cold. You see, it's a more more towards the blue, so it's a bluish image. That's why colors and white balance are represented f uh, by color temperature, okay? So that's why you say it's too hot because the color color temperature here is too high, so the image is too hot, and here the color temperature is not correct. Then you have the image too cold, more to, towards the blue, and here more towards to the yellow. So you you got to have the co correct colors in your configured in your cameras, okay? So let's go here to the camera that I have online. Here we go. Here an example, I'm pointing the camera to the window, and there's a lot of green out there, and there's a little bit of sun here, okay? And then when I come here to set up to adjust the color uh, white balance, I can come here to this camera setup. And just right here, I have a uh, white balance. You see, if I want to control colors, I go to white balance. So I have the option here to white balance. I have ATW that represents automatic white balance. The camera try to adjust itself with the correct colors. And then I have another option here. Look, I have menu, AWC, outdoor, and indoor. Let's change here to menu so you can see what happens. We can see here that's too towards to the blue now, right? It's too, I, we say that's too cold. If I change here again, like a little bit more blue, you see? 
it's too bluish so we need to be careful with this if I change the colors here manually the white balance I change it manually I can, I can put a little bit more of red for example so it's too reddish now can start like adjusting my camera the way I want to. I can use this menu configuration if I have like control of the light. If I let the image like this, even if I uh, find here the correct exposition to light, uh, the co correct color temperature, sorry, the, the colors can be correctly, can be accurate, but when the light changes there, everything changes. Okay, so when it's outdoor environment, I can't have control of the light because I can't control environment. I can't control the sun. I can't control the moon, right? So manual you're going to use internally when you control the light. So you start like adjusting your camera until you find the correct uh, white balance for your application. Okay. Most of the time you're going to use ATW so the camera can adjust itself. The problem is that some camera models, they don't do a good job working with automatic white balance. Okay. That depends on the model. Professional models, models work better with this. Okay. So if I come here to AWC, in this case, I can point a white paper to the, to the camera. When I press set, the camera is going to memorize that uh, paper. It's representing white image according to the light that I have in that environment. Okay. Then you have outdoor option. So the camera is trying to represent the light, the color temperature that you find outdoors. And you have indoor option. The camera trying to represent the colors, the, the color temperature that we, you find internally in your environment. Okay. So that's all guys. You have like a, those kind of control in your camera of course in your menu could be different that depends of the, the the camera you are using but in this camera i have those options here okay so let's come back to the presentation here we go as i said before correct color too hot or too cold be careful with that if you uh, have a good camera you can let your camera in atw or automatic white balance to have a better color representation all right so here an example of the menu i just show you guys your menu could, can could be different but in this case i have automatic i have menu i have our uh, awc that i need a reference for the camera like a white paper outdoor for external range and indoor okay